Come on, open up! What, is the lock broken again? Oh, uh, finally! Hello, son. Oh, Dad, I'm getting ready for class! I've got something for you. Since I'm the principal, I decided to get you a new locker. Really? Yes, look! It's yours now. Cool, thanks! Shh, be quieter. Oh, I get it, it's our secret. Finally, I won't be late because of a broken lock. <gasps> Ahem, I want to talk to you, Mr. Hunter. And you better not keep me waiting. What can I do for you, Abby? I need more spaces for my clothes. Mm. Um, yeah, right. Here, now all these lockers are yours. I wish I was that rich. At least I got my own two lockers. Hey! <laughs> But, Dad, that's not fair. I just got a key for it. Get your textbooks out of here. But where am I supposed to keep them now? Hmm. Let me see. Oh, you can leave them here for now. There's plenty of space. Hmm. I'm sorry, but you know we need the money. Get out of the way. You're standing in Miss Michelle's way. Yeah, it's a good thing we called you. Do exactly as I told you. I actually bought all the lo- Ouch! Find another place for your stuff. That cheap nightmare? Ew. <laughs> Boss, it's done. Great, you can go now. I think I'll take the blueprint. Here's my locker. My riches need protection. Michelle's safe is here now instead of my office? I hope you don't mind that I changed a few things around here. Of course I don't mind. I'm going to find myself a new office. Ooh. It's hard to say no to a rich person, so even the college principal has to make hmm. some sacrifices. Oh, I'm sorry. That was very embarrassing. Huh? <laughs> oh, Newton's laws. That's my favorite topic. Newton's? Oops, I got the wrong book. Uh, I can't look at poor people. They make me sick. Move away from me. I'm all right. She's a weird. Farther, that's not enough. Oh, those rich people and their whimsy. Farther! Phew, oh, how did I end up in the hallway? At least no one will distract me. That's just right. Now I can study in peace. Hey, you. Let Miss Michelle sit here. And you better sit in the hallway as you're too poor. <laughs> that's where she belongs. What? Did you just call me poor? That's outrageous. Is it? Well, well, I'm leaving. Fine. Oh, get back at that upstart. Hey, you, go away. Now. And I'm not poor. It's a good Ooh. thing I'm not sitting near the toilet. Huh? Hey, that's where I keep my stuff. Oh, where's my physics book? Just what I need. Is there going to be anyone else in the VIP lounge besides us? Yes, miss. That girl signed up in advance. But don't you worry. I guarantee you won't even pay attention to her. Fine. I hope so. And it really would have gone well. If not just one surprising coincidence. What are you doing in my favorite salon? Rustic. Can't you see? Ethan, massage harder. Well, whatever you say. Carol, you try harder too. Yes, miss. That's still not enough. Uh, my masseuse is better. That's not true. Something about this doesn't sound like a relaxing massage. Faster? All right. Abby and Michelle don't seem to rest until they prove who's cooler and richer after all. They're willing to spend any amount of money and endure any pain for it. I feel great. I can't walk. I'm so tired after work. Finally, I get some rest. Ooh. Oh, it's time to get up and go to college. <laughs> My poor bag. <laughs> Thus, the event went down in history. Hey, is everyone even listening to me? Now that's action. Poor Dan doesn't have his own smartphone, so he can watch the popular shows only this way. I wonder who will win in the end. I can't wait for the final game. Mr. Hunter, let's play the game where you'll be this doll. Ah. What? No. But it's a squid game. How could we make a deal? Ah. No way. We're in the middle of a lesson. Why? It's so much more interesting than history. You just don't know how to negotiate. 
That's Ooh. a lot of money. Wow, Dad agrees. Now the case is yours. You know, you can delay the history lesson for that. <laughs> Look, I'm pretty good at playing the role of that doll. I think I'll get the main player ready. What? <laughs> Green doesn't look good on me, so I'll be the lead. That's not fair. Hey, it's actually my seat, so leave it. How come? Move. And thanks for the cocktail. You can start the game. She makes me angry. But why do I end up suffering? Gotta write it off before my dad sees it. Have you finished writing the test? Oh. You're out. But I played it fair. Hello, give me one ticket, please. Sorry, bro. You need more money. How about this? Just three dollars. That's still not enough. Step aside. I need one ticket for the new movie. Sure, miss. Which one do you need? Regular ticket or super VIP? Of course, I'll take one super VIP. Wow, come on in. I certainly won't let that happen. That's it, let's put it here. Hey, what is that made? This is fun. Your throne is blocking the screen. Remove it. You don't have a ticket. But I wanted to see a movie in the cinema for so long. Let me in, please. I'll pay. No. I'll be quiet, I promise. All right, for that money, you can watch the movie through a hole behind the curtains. <laughs> Lucky Abby. Now Michelle certainly can't beat me. What? A movie about the life of ultra-rich Michelle? Are you kidding me? Ooh, free popcorn. I'm feeling lucky today. Thanks, Abby. I'm not watching this. I'm sitting here. No, I am. How do you like my new designer bag? <laughs> my assistant has just the same one. Hey. <laughs> you have similar tastes. Give me a sandwich, please. Here you go, bon appetit. Hi, Dad. Oh, son, are you hungry? Yes, but I have two dollars. I can only afford unpalatable porridge with that money. Don't be sad. Give me your plate before anyone sees. I'm the principal, after all. I can treat my son to a VIP meal. Here, go before anyone notices. Hi there, how are you? <laughs> Everything was fine until you came and it started to smell with poverty. Good thing I have some money smelling air freshener with me. Hey, actually, I'm cool too. Look, I have a VIP burger. And you think this is food? My lunch was cooked by the best chef in the world and delivered straight from Paris. Ah, uh, look at these macaroons. Aren't they beautiful? I have to show them an Instagram. Is this some kind of joke? Mademoiselle, your dessert. Merci, Chad. It's perfect as always. Holy croissants! I can't take it anymore. I don't want to see Michelle or those stupid macarons. Ah, my dear burger! I should be the one in her place! Whatever you say. Look, I got heart-shaped honey jelly. <laughs> What's the big deal? Here's my dollar-shaped one. Ah! I put my heart and soul into my new brand, and I can't wait to show you everything. Hey, I'm actually walking around here. No, that's me. I got here earlier. Go somewhere else. I won't. I'm richer, which means I have the last word. Uh, you smell it too? It's the smell of no money. And cheap clothes. That must be your smell. What? Hey, girls. Oh no, I'm about to start smelling just like you. That's a good idea. By the way, you smell like gold. In fact, you both better leave or you'll infect me with poverty. Who dares throw a bottle at me? So whose bottle is it? Confess. Well, I'm poor, so I'll go. Well, so what? Actually, it was Michelle who threw it. It's all your fault. Congratulations on graduating from college and going to Oxford. I believed in you, Miss Michelle. This is so exciting. Congratulations to you, too. Ah, uh, this is that day. Son, I'm so proud of you. You did great. Congratulations on graduating from college. You got into Oxford, too. Really? I can't believe it. Yay, I didn't expect to be so smart. Wait, but we don't have money to pay for tuition. I managed to save some. Dad, 
Dad, you're the best. This is the coolest day of my life. Everything is for you. You have a very cool dad, but ours. I wonder who could be so busy they wouldn't come and support their children. No need to get upset, as we'll all go to university together. We're gonna need a lot of air fresheners. Do you remember what were the scents of Michelle and Abby's air fresheners? If yes, then write your answer in the comments below this video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and click on the bell. See you!